Hey, Mauro. Kevin. So uh, no painting today, but a little repair? A little repair. Porcelain. You can see it everywhere, especially in bathrooms. You think porcelain is tough, but cracks and chips and scratch can happen. Okay, well walk me through the process. How would you attack that? Well, first thing we gotta do, lightly sand to make sure all the edges are nice and ready for the patch. Gotcha, what are you using for sandpaper? I'm gonna use a 320 sandpaper. So something very fine. Very fine, very nice, just gentle, just make sure you break out the edges a little bit. Oh, you're, you're talking seriously gentle, right? Yes, so you don't wanna, you know. Don't make it worse. Sand more than you have to. Okay. Once this is nice and clean, we clean that up. And then I'm gonna use the tape. So, I mean, obviously we've got porcelain here. I'm used to seeing sort of the smaller ones with the gloss, but these big pieces right here, that is definitely porcelain. So same approach. Same approach, but this has this gloss finish on the borders, and this is like a matte finished gotcha. porcelain. You're just gonna have one little space between the cracks. So you are taping to protect from drips and runs and stuff? Absolutely. I don't want anything to drip the areas that we don't have to touch. Perfect. Typical painter's tape. You painter's migrated tape. the yellow. And this is very, very thin, so I don't want to create any edges here. Mm -hmm. Press it really well. There we go. Okay. And we got this. So this is a porcelain patch. This is a porcelain patch. This is like a glaze. And I buy this off the shelf at the home center. You can find them there, yes. All right, cool. This comes in white, but you have another different colors, just in case you have a different color tile. Mm -hmm. But those colors need to be watered. So it's, it's like just a really thick paint. Just like a thicker paint. Comes with its own brush. You just want it to, are you trying to fill it in as well? We're trying to fill it in, and uh, at the same time, the color should match really well. So you said they've got other colors that you can order. Yes. Um, <laughs> what if grandma's pink and avocado tile scheme needs to be repaired? Can I make a mix? You can. Um, if you can find the color that you need, what I do, I grab a little bit of oil-based stain because it's all solvent-based. Mm -hmm. Just drip a little bit, just working on it slowly until you get the desirable color. Okay. So with stains, I'm thinking I'm going to get sort of the off-white, sort of the more brown tones. But if I got to pull out like a pink or something or a green, you're thinking I can get that? Then you're going to have to find some pink colors, some pink paint. So Pink paint would yeah, work. Would work. Oil. Oil. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna set up in how long, roughly? This is gonna set up in about 30 to 45 minutes, and then you come by, take a look at it. You might have to put one or more of the two coats. Okay, sounds good. So that's a scratch. Uh, up here, we've got more of a, a gouge or a divot. Maybe a scale is dropped or thrown onto the bathroom floor Something. in anger or being calibrated, <laughs> 15 pounds Something that measure four. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's the process for something? For this one here, we're gonna use the same technique with the tape in here and lightly sand, break all the edges, make sure it's done clean, tape around. But for this, we're gonna have to use a putty. Again, home center, home off center, the shelf. Off the shelf, yes. All right, this one is like a putty. It comes in white, but also comes in different colors too. It's not, it's not much thicker than the, uh, than the paint. I mean, you can clearly work it with a knife. Yeah, it's a little thicker than that, but not that much. You would um, be able to buy the putty in a variety of colors as well? There's different colors also, yes. And would you be able to mix uh, with a little bit of oil stain? Absolutely. How much drying time between coats? This one here dries in about 45 minutes. Okay, and that's when you determine whether or not you need another coat? Absolutely, come and check and see if you need one or two more. Gotcha. The paint or the paste, how are they drying? They will dry with a little bit of uh, finish on, a little bit of gloss. So there'll be a sheen on these when they're dry? Yes. And if I wanted to bring it down to a you mat? Want to bring it down, you're gonna to have to lightly sand until you get the desirable finish that match closer to the tile. Okay, so you, you, you're literally in kind of like the fixing the wall stage now. Where Absolutely. You're building it up, you're feathering it, it down. Up, patch in and build it up, sand it, clean it, and paint. And definitely looks like a homeowner friendly project. Absolutely, it's a very easy DIY. Any homeowner can do it. Beautiful. All right, thank you, Mara. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.